chance to like wrestle anybody if you could who would it be Um, will we see guys like Chris Black, Vato, TC, Dark Child will be back in BCW soon? Um, I don't know why they asked about TC Washington because we do see him on the show, but the other guys, will we ever see them back soon? out there because like I know some people is have you know bad reviews and bad marks to a certain individual um how does it feel to work with no other than Jeff Briggs if you ever work with him Jeff Briggs is a piece of shit <laughs> enough said <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna go on. oh go ahead Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. He claims he claims to run a good promotion. He ain't shit. He's got guys who want to leave him in the worst way. TC was one who's come to me. Um, people who have worked with him have nothing good to say about him. But yeah, he, he, he's worthless. He's a he's a waste of sperm from the spotter cell. I, I can go that far with him. He's worthless. Uh, you can say what you want to say, so we're allowing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, hey, I don't care if I hurt feelings. That's, that's the way it is. Um, but, yeah, that, that's the truth. Hey, all we're doing is just listening to your opinion, and you have the right to say whatever, so <laughs> just go ahead and roll with it. Mm-hmm. But let's see. Um, hmm, here's another question. Um, was Chris Black was ever BCW champion? He was a BCW champion. He was the uh, limits champion. He was a good champion. He, uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, Chris could, could wrestle. You know, he, he could do a lot of high line, uh, ninja stuff. He, he was a good guy to have around the locker room. Right, and people that didn't see him did that little stink with Australia Society last year. Um, no, it was earlier this year. It was kind of one of the funniest things you've ever seen. Um, here's another question from Hazel. Um, they want to see DJ Bob and the mouse, which is Robert, in a dance-off. In a dance-off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe that could be a Oh, uh, God, with the questions. <laughs> it's just funny sometimes. Um, here's another question. Um. What challenges are there when you setting up a steel cage match? What challenges are there in putting on a steel cage match? Right. Uh, building you know, the, the right store for it to happen. So, I mean, the work that we're having right now, those storylines have been going on for the last six months. And they went right down to a T, precise, and now the people will be ready to go to in the NWA uh, Midwest Championship against Sadis, one of them, and then you have myself, Matt Winchester, Nick Colucci, Hardcore Craig, Big Event Blaze, taking on Team Canada in the U18s in the other steel cage match. Plus, we have a great underneath card, too. You know, this function is wrestling Bobby Vettel, you know, Macy Quinn, and uh, Derek Christian Holmes are taking on TW3 and Justin Somebody's title will be online. Uh, um, I have the call from Minnesota coming down. Her name is Ludic Sexton. She'll be on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have seven sound answers on January 20th. Right, and like I said, um, if they want to see, like, the um, card, because um, I know you have a website out, so just let everybody know what's the website and what information they can find on the website. Okay, like I said, if y'all want to know like the card and stuff like that, just check out that website. And there's some more stuff on there from also like, go ahead if you want to explain more. does explain the car for the upcoming matches that he mentioned also. Um, oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, here's another question. Um, any advice you can give to a promoter starting up? And they put in slashes not in your area. <laughs> um, she you know what you want. Make sure that you have the experience in what you're doing. Make sure that you have some of their help do at the wall. Um, that's about it. Okay. 
say, um, here's another question. Um, what do you think of T.C. Washington today? I haven't talked to him today. How's he doing? Not sure, but I, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's a long way. Um, um, well, he's an SW heavy champion. He's five foot five, but he, he is a kid. He is out of, um, but he, yeah, he, um, he's, he's come a long way. He's, a, he's that bad. He's a good man to have for a hobby. He is from, like, what he mentioned, like, this past Saturday when I interviewed him. He's like a guy that's just ready to expect anything, so just like a guy that wants to prepare. Um, speaking of which, um, we already mentioned, like, how you prepare for your matches, like, earlier. So, like, like getting ready for a big show, like, how would you prepare yourself for a big show? Like, you had, like, the um, strap match and... Like the fans outside the ring whooping, although I was a part of that, and just stuff like that. Oh, sorry. Um, How do you prepare to, like, set up, like, bit matches like the one that I mentioned that I was kind of involved in with the strap match, like the people outside the lumberjack match and stuff like that? How do you prepare for matches like that? interesting match and hopefully we'll see something like that in the near future that can get to be involved in on everybody else or the Bruce City Wrestling fans can get involved in too. Um, right. Another question, uh, which celebrity wrestlers have you got booked for future shows? And I think you probably mentioned some of them earlier, but I guess for the people that didn't hear it, go ahead and mention it again. this question, the same question, but um, who would you like to see book in the, um, your future show? Um, you know, some guys from TNA are not that bad. Um, what do you like about most running a federation? Um, 